This past week we got bad news that the British Airways Executive Club program was making some changes coming April 28th that increases uh, the amount of avios needed for a lot of business and first class awards. Luckily, the economy redemptions are unchanged and in fact even cheaper in off-peak times when flying on British Airways. So depending on how you use your avios, this could either be good news or pretty bad. Now, TPG reader Mike asks whether it's worth it to keep the British Airways Chase Visa card post-evaluation. My question would be, how do you redeem those points? Now, that card can be very valuable. You get a, uh, they're currently running a 10% savings when you use that card to purchase British Airways flights. And the base earning is 1.25 avios per dollar spent, which is 25% more than the typical one mile per dollar spent on most airline co-branded cards. So, if you redeem for economy, and especially economy short haul flights, the British Airways Avios card is gonna earn you more miles for your daily spend than pretty much any other card. Now, you could get an Amex card and hope for more transfer bonuses, but in general, um, you know, the, the British Airways Avios card is pretty good. Even with the travel together ticket, now I don't recommend using that with economy redemptions because the taxes and fees are so high, but even uh, you know, with New York to London round trip, Right now is 80,000 miles in business class. Um, that will be going up to 120,000 miles. But still, for two tickets and around 2,000 bucks, that can still be a great deal depending on how you value um, your redemptions. If you're used to paying four or $5,000 for business class ticket, the BA visa is a no-brainer many times over. Now, another thing is I have noticed, I actually need to book my travel together ticket that British Airways first and business class availability has been pulled back a lot lately. I'm having a hard time flying out of New York um, on the dates I want to go, but you can also use that on Open Skies, which I've noticed has pretty great availability, New York to Paris, uh, so I may do that uh, and figure out some way to make it work. But in general, the British Airways devaluation is not good news, but it's also not terrible, and if you know how to maximize Avios, uh, you know, it's business as usual. So I, I am still going to continue holding my BA visa, and especially if you don't have it, the 50,000 Avios sign-up bonus and the fee waived the first year makes it an absolute no-brainer. Any other questions, tweet me at The Point Sky and make sure you like us on Facebook.